And now we're going to very quickly we're going to navigate to plugins. Um, so here is a plugin uh, that you can find. It's called the uh, Slide. I think it's Slide Tooltip plugin. It's in the sample application. And I'm just going to touch on a few things for those of you who maybe are developing plugins uh, or want to get into building plugins and how I think plugins and or if you're using plugins, how your experience is going to get better um, as new plugins are created. So one thing that is really, really awesome to me is that here we have something, a plugin that looks like a report. Right, it kind of has tabular data in addition to a tooltip, which is kind of the extra data. Right, uh, but you would likely get all this information from a query. So previously, if you had tabular data in a plugin, there was no way of looking at or modifying columns individually, unless the developer of that plugin did a whole lot of work um, and. Uh, to allow you to do that and it really just the experience was kind of it, it wasn't the same as what you've come to know with Apex reports uh, uh, default Apex reports so let me show you what I'm talking about so this plugin you can now see exposes all the columns that it has access to and I can go in and I can sequence how these columns are going to show up I can change the heading of these columns. Right? I can say whether or not I want this to show. So I can say street address to. No, I don't want you to show up. Let me go back to grid layout so I can see what my page looks like. Run my page. It's going to apply these changes. Uh, you may get this error every now and then. So it, or it's not really an error, it's just more of an alert. It says um, the changes have been saved, but it, it fails to refocus on the new tab. Uh, so I'm going to click on try again, and it's going to let me refocus on the new tab. And it's, it's hard to tell, but um, the one, two, three, uh, the fourth line in the tooltip is no longer Cust Street address two. Uh, it is no longer showing up. So we kind of modified how this plugin is behaving and a very de how a column of this plugin is behaving in a more apex declarative fashion. So I just want to show you uh, as uh, for any uh, plugin developers out there, I'm going to navigate to shared components. I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to find my the slide tooltip plugin here, and don't worry about the code so much here, but do notice, do notice that uh, it is highlighted. Right. So we can see that there is some styling here. Uh, the the remember this is an early adopter, so the the um, the spacing here is a little goofy, um, but that's okay. It's an early adopter. We know that things aren't always going to be perfect. Uh, but do know that there is syntax highlighting, and you'll see more syntax highlighting, highlighting uh, in all the source of the different uh, Apex items. But one thing that I want to show you is here. This is the option that allowed this really cool stuff to happen. It says uh, has region columns and has heading column attribute. So by checking this on your plugin. Uh, Basically, what this does is Apex will go ahead and query the data for you and give you all the data and headings attached to the uh, payload that it delivers to you to, to, to leverage uh, all the built-in Apex attributes. One last thing I, I kind of want to touch on here uh, in plugins. This isn't plugin specific, uh, but it's something that I think is really cool. Um, I'm going to refresh this and see if it will fix the formatting here. It did. Very cool. And one thing that we now have access to is there's a package, and this is kind of small. Let me see if I zoom in. There's a package called Apex JSON. And Apex has now given us a package to use. The Apex team has given us a package to use 
if we need to generate JSON output. And notice here, you can see that it's calling the Apex JSON open object. It's writing some values, and then here it's saying open array, and it's now it's writing an array of values. All right, so that's pretty cool in that um, we now have a package to help generate JSON. Uh, there's some other utility uh, in that package that we're not going to talk about, uh, but it's really cool. So you, some of you might be asking, well, what is JSON? What does it look like? Why is it important? How, why would I use it? Um, well, if you look at this plugin, let me restore. If you here, I'm going to open up my network tab, and I'm going to refresh my page. And here you can see this is the JSON object that was JSON structure that was generated. And this is the uh, structure for uh, Bradley Eugene. Right. And here's all the other just information related to him. Right. So pretty cool. Apex helped us generate that. So um, user experience with plugins as well as developer options are becoming way better uh, with plugins.